feelings are caused by four special brain chemicals, dopamine, endorphin, oxytocin, and serotonin. It would be nice to just enjoy them all the time, but our brain isn't designed to work that way. It only releases the happy chemicals when it sees a way to meet a need, and then only in short spurts. When you know how your brain works, it's easy to see that we're meant to have ups and downs. This is nice to know when you're having downs, but let's look closer at the ups. Dopamine is that great feeling that a reward is at hand. Dopamine causes that go-for-it feeling that gets animals to chase food. Your dopamine is released when you see something that met a need before. Endorphin is a euphoria that masks physical pain. Endorphin helps an injured animal escape from a predator and survive. But the spurt is soon over. We're not designed to mask pain all the time because pain is important information that you have an injury that needs protecting. Endorphin evolved for emergencies. Oxytocin is the brain chemical that makes you feel good around people you trust. Oxytocin motivates mammals to seek safety in numbers, and your oxytocin flows when you have social support. But living with a herd can be frustrating, and a big part of the problem is our next happy chemical, serotonin. Serotonin is the good feeling of being in the one-up position. Mammals one-up each other because the serotonin feels good. It's not an aggressive feeling, but the nice sense that you can help yourself to a banana. You, of course, don't care about bananas because your big brain defines the one-up position in other ways. When you feel good about your skills, that's your serotonin flowing, whether it's your cooking skills, your organization skills, or possibly your partying skills. Your happy chemicals turn on in unique individual ways because they wire from life experience. Whatever turned them on before connected neurons that gets them flowing more easily the next time. You were born with lots of neurons, but very few connections between them. Over time, your pathways got paved by happy chemicals. So whatever felt good when you were young built the highways in your brain that you use today. However you got wired, frustration is part of life because our brains don't give us the happy chemicals we expect. For example, I get a great feeling when I discover a new flavor of ice cream, but when I have that ice cream again, it doesn't trigger the same happy feelings. Our brain habituates to old rewards, so you have to keep doing more to get more happy chemicals. That's the survival mechanism that kept your ancestors alive, and it's the operating system you have to work with if you want to feel good. Your brain evolved for survival. It does its job by giving you a life or death feeling about things going on around you. So when you feel like you will die if you don't get what you want, your mammal brain is causing that feeling. Understanding your inner mammal helps you tell the difference between real survival moments and impulses fueled by old pathways. You can make peace with your inner mammal and resist impulses that are not really good for you. Each time you do that, a new pathway builds, and you will eventually turn on your happy chemicals in new ways, but not as much as you expect. So realistic expectations are your ticket to happiness.